Hey, I'm Danae Moore and this is Fake Story Lyrics Explained. So I wrote Fake Story just after I kind of finished touring We Used to Bloom. So this song is about kind of just reclaiming my power within myself. Okay, verse one. You got some nerve calling on announced. Run in your mouth like we're good like that because I no longer fear you. We're not that insecure no more. So originally, I this lyric was, I'm not that insecure no more, but then I changed it because I felt like, just even with conversations with other people around this song, people have heard this song, um, I felt like it's something that we kind of all you universally feel a lot of the times as women, um, especially in powerful positions. But even, it could just be something very, I don't know, even romantically sometimes a no can be seen as like, maybe I can change your mind kind of sense. So I kind of changed it because I wanted every, it to resonate with everyone when they listen to it. You got some nerve thinking time will bail you out, run in your mouth like nothing happened because I no longer fear you when I'm the entical no more. I feel like this line um, you got some nerve thinking time could bail you out. I just feel like the whole concept of you got some nerve is like, for me, a very powerful kind of thing. Cause I think sometimes it can be underestimated as a woman and just maybe not taken as seriously. So I think it's just pure frustration and it's real. That's how I felt in that moment. Um, Chorus, well, sorry, pre-chorus. Who else is sick of all this same shit? I'm throwing my hands to the sky, I need one more goodbye. No, can't deal with fake stories. Who else is done with getting played with? Writes me out of your future plans, the one to, to hold your hand. Already know where this one leads. This to me is like, I'm shouting out to everyone, like I can't be the only one who's in this position and is like continually frustrated, whether it's with in the work sense space or, romantically or whatever, you know, it is where sometimes you say no as a woman and you're like not necessarily taken seriously. So it's basically saying like, I'm not having it. Like we're not having it, you know, it's okay. Like I'm taking the shit back. Chorus, which is just a lot of no's basically. <laughs> no, 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 I can't deal with it, sorry. Um, so yeah, that's basically just saying no. Like also don't, appreciate fake apologies from people as well. Sometimes people just say things so that they don't have to listen more. I'm saying no. <laughs> when are you saying you just want some closure? This party's tired, boy it's over. Cause I no longer fear you, we're not that insecure no more. And it's basically saying like, this party's t like, it's over. Like leave me, literally leave me alone. Like. Pre-chorus. Who else is sick of all the same shit? I'm throwing my hands to the sky, don't need one more goodbye. No. Like, no. Can't deal with fake, sorry. Even the like, can't deal with one more goodbye is just so real. Cause sometimes, like I say, like, when you say no sometimes as a woman, you just really aren't like, taken seriously. Mid late. And all the love that I gave you, I'm giving it back to myself. Because being alone doesn't mean that I'm all by myself. And the no's that I gave you won't keep me hung up on your shelf because I'm allowed to say no. And if you won't take it, then it's all in you. Um, so I feel like this point was very important to shift because I think this is, you know, sometimes, like I said, you go in that headspace where you're like, oh, maybe I was too harsh. Maybe I shouldn't have said it in that way. Maybe. I don't know, let's reevaluate the things. And you just have to realize that sometimes that mindset a lot of the times is because it's like a insecurity about how you make someone feel. And it has nothing to do with something that you actually truly feel. And I think it was an important thing to bring back to the song, um, especially sonically as well. It kind of just drops down to guitar and vocal to give the love to you, back to yourself. Like I always say, the love you give to yourself lasts forever. And it's important and we've got to take care of ourselves, you know? And when these things happen, like whether, you know, you break up with someone or for whatever reason, or, you know, you leave a certain space that was toxic, 
at the end of the day you still have yourself and you know that's something I've touched on in other songs as well like too close like you're not alone because you're on your own like like it's okay and to give love to yourself and to realize that you don't need the love and approval from someone else you can feel the way that you feel and it's completely valid even if it like hurts someone in the process or affects people in the room around you.